there are potential environmental impacts throughout the life cycle of a pharmaceutical. Uh, we have in manufacturing phase, in the use phase, and in the end of life of the disposal of a pharmaceutical. The correct disposal of, of pharmaceuticals, of unused medicines, are addressed in this meds disposal campaign that we are working with. The two other phases, manufacturing and use, are addressed by what we call the Ecopharmaco Stewardship Initiative, or EPS. And EPS, in a nutshell, would be three pillars. The first one, IPI, where we address the old products that do not have proper environmental assessments conducted. We have manufacturing effluent management, where we look into good practices of, of wastewater treatment, for instance, and we also allow for benchmarking between different companies. The third pillar is what we call the extended environmental risk assessments. We produce environmental risk assessments in the registration of products. The authorization in itself is based on medical effects, but if there is a risk for environmental impact, we need to address that post approval. So will there ever be green pharmaceutical? And I believe it will. If, if there is a lower insign insignificant environmental effect, in manufacturing, in use, and if unused medicines are correct of, or disposed of correctly, of course, then I would say that is a green pharmaceutical.